Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 19th of 2020. Well, it is titled a flight over Jupiter near the great red spot. So what do we see here? Well, we are looking at a video taken by the uh, Juno spacecraft and from images taken by Juno, which has been visiting Jupiter since 2016 and is exploring it. Now the video will run about five minutes. So let's go ahead and play it and see what we find on Jupiter. And as we play the video, what you will find is that we come out of the night side and approach the daylit side of Jupiter. And as we do that, we can begin to see some of the swirling uh, material within the clouds. Jupiter has a very complex cloud system, as we will see, and much even much more complex than what we are used to seeing here on the Earth. And you can see the distinct turbulence within the atmosphere as we fly over that. Now Juno is in a polar orbit so we will find that we get much closer to Jupiter and then much further away and that's because it's also in a highly elliptical orbit. And as we come around we start to see now some of the distinct coloring some of the distinct bands lighter and darker bands that stretch across the atmosphere of the giant planet. Now as we come up over to the horizon here you can begin to see some of the uh, small storms that are present very circular uh, objects that are part of Jupiter's structures in the atmosphere. And again we see the distinct darker colors and then we come up on some lighter colors in the atmosphere as well and these are different layers of clouds at different levels. So we look at Jupiter sometimes as a marble with everything at the same level but it truly is not. Things are actually at various different uh, areas and can be hundreds of kilometers different in height. Now as we're coming through uh, closer to the planet now and we continue to look at the structures that we see within the atmosphere and we can continually see various storms uh, coming up now on some more storms down towards the lower left hand side and just distinct areas within the atmosphere formed by various turbulence and enhanced by heat from within Jupiter and the very rapid rotation of the giant planet that takes less than 10 hours to spin once on its axis. And we're coming down towards the other polar region and the great red spot comes into view off to the left hand side. Great red spot is a gigantic storm that has been seen going back to the late 1600s. And that storm is about the size of the whole planet Earth. So a tremendous storm that we see here and has been present for hundreds of years. We've noted it to be shrinking over the recent time and over the last few decades. So the question is how long it will last. Will it eventually uh, just fizzle out or will it stabilize at a smaller size or will something happen that causes it to continue to grow? And down below the red spot we see some very distinct turbulence within the atmosphere and we can see the bright light colored belt just below the great red spot and then many other white storms down below. So a very turbulent atmosphere within Jupiter and known for its aurora and lightning that we see there. So things like aurora and lightning are not confined just to Earth but we also see them on other planets as well including Jupiter. And now as we come towards the pole you can notice that Jupiter seems to be shrinking in size and that's because the spacecraft would be getting further away. As it moves further away from the uh, planet it will appear smaller and Juno is in a very distinct uh, elliptical orbit so it comes in very close to Jupiter for a short time and gives us a quick glance at it and then travels further out to be able to give us a uh, to be able to get out of the uh, 
intense radiation belts of Jupiter to help to preserve the life of the spacecraft and hopefully keep it going for many more years. And its mission has already been extended uh, from its original expected length. So we're already into extra time on it getting more chances to study the great planet. So we've learned, as I've said, about some of the lightning we've seen there, the very powerful aurora that we see, and some very interesting studies in the atmosphere itself, helping us to understand how atmospheres work on other planets and how everything works there, which hopefully in the long run will help us to better understand our own atmosphere here on Earth. So now we're heading uh, out towards the very end Jupiter shrinking becoming a very small crescent as we come back towards the nighttime side of the planet Jupiter as it fades out. So it really was a chance to be able to get a really close up view of Jupiter from Juno uh, taken back this past June and a way to be able to better study the giant planet when we are actually up close to it and able to really see what is happening. So that was our picture of the day for October the 19th of 2020. It was titled a flight over Jupiter near the great red spot. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be great sky orbs. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.